Good morning students. Today we are going to start a new exercise in which we will be learning the estimation of sum and difference. Okay. The estimation of sum and difference. So let's uh, look at the basic concepts once again before we start this exercise. Okay. So let's do it. See here. Round off to the nearest 10. If a number is given, like a number is given like 56. So how to round off this number to nearest 10? See here. First of all, what you need to do? You need to check the place value. Tens. Tens is here. So before 10, what comes? Ones. So the place of ones. In the place of ones, there should be five or more. There should be 5 or more. If there is 5 or more, it will be converted to 10. It will be converted to 10. It means this will become 0 and here 1 will be added. This will become 0 and here 1 will be added. So 5 plus 1, 6 and 0. See, when, you, we, are, when we are converting 56 to nearest 10, we are getting the answer as 60. Clear? Okay. Similarly, similarly, if the same we are doing, round off to the nearest 100. Round off to the nearest 100. If a number is given, 149. This is the number given. Okay. Now, how to round off this number? It is asking to the nearest 100. So, let's check the place value of 100. 1 stands 100. What is there at 100? 1s. Okay, so we are not going to round up this number, but before that, what comes? Tens place. So what is there at tens place? Four. Okay, now what I told you, the, what is the basic concept? There should be five or more. To round up, you need five or more. So here we have four. So what will happen? These two will become zero and nothing will be added here. These two will become zero and nothing will be added here. It means the value will be 1, 0, 0. So, 149 will be rounded to 100. Clear? Okay. See, this concept will be applicable in all the cases. In all the cases. Okay. See here. Look at one more. Look at one more. If it is asking round off to the nearest thousands. Round off to the nearest thousand. See, and the number is given. 2, 4, 9, 5. This is the number. And it is asking to the nearest. Uh, round off to the nearest. 1000. So, first what we need to do. We will check the place value. 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s. What is there at 1000s place? 2. So, we are not going to do anything. But before that what comes? 100s place. What is given at 100s place? 4. Now, 4 is less than 5. So, this will become 0. This will again become 0. This will again become 0. And nothing will be added here. So, what is the value? 2 thousands. Clear? So, this process of rounding of the number will goes on and on. See, the same process will be applicable if it is asking you to round off to the nearest 10,000. Round off to the nearest 10,000. Let's take one more one more example. 3, 6, 9, 5, 4. This is the number. Question is asking you round off to the nearest 10,000. So let's check what is there at 10,000. 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000. 3 is there at 10,000. We are not going to do anything with 3. Okay. So before 10,000 what is there? Thousands place. What is given at thousands place? Six. And see, this six is more than five. If it is more than five, what will happen? One will be added, and all these number will become zero. All will become zero. So what is the value? Three plus one, four. Forty thousand. Clear? So like this, like this, the process of round off will go on and on okay so you need to understand there should be five or more to round off any 
number okay now let's start exercise 2.5 here look at question number one find the actual and estimated sum by rounding off to the nearest 10,000 keep in mind rounding off to the nearest 10,000 let's find out okay see here just find out what is there at 10,000 ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand two is there at ten thousand and here one is there at ten thousands place so before that what do you have nine so it is more than five so one will be added it is less than five so nothing will be added here so what what is the value we are getting three two plus one three so the value we are getting three three and these all will become zero 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 so the value is three lakh thirty thousand it means three lakh twenty nine thousand five hundred twelve is rounded to three lakh thirty thousand similarly nothing is added here so one 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 and here zero 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 clear now the question is asking you to add so add it it's very simple to add here so the estimated sum we are getting as 4,40,000 now find the actual find the actual here okay okay now 7 plus 2 9 8 plus 1 9 okay 5 plus 0 is 5 9 plus 2 11 1 goes here 2 plus 1 3 plus 1 4 and here 4 See, while rounding of 4,41,599, we are getting only 4,40,000. So, like this, you have to solve question number 1, B, 2, all, and 3, all. All are similar to each other, okay? So, it's a very simple question. First, what you need to do? You need to estimate it and then add it and compare it, okay? See? After rounding 4,41,599, we are getting 4,40,000 only. Okay. Now, let's look at question number 4. A farmer produced 3,90,784 kg wheat and 1,23,000 kg pulses in a year. Estimate his total produce by rounding off to the nearest lag. So, first what will you do? First, you will be writing the statement. What is the statement you are going to write? Quantity of or what, what you can do? What is the statement you are going to write? Weight of wheat produced this much. Weight of pulses produced this much. Add it first. Add it first. And then estimate the total production. Okay. So, it is a very simple question. So, uh, this question is already done in uh, the online class today. So, we are skipping this question here. We are moving to question number 5. Let's look at question number 5. A fruit seller bought 2,80,514 bananas, 3,1,718 oranges and 4,53,892 apples from the wholesale market. Round off to the nearest lakh and estimate the total fruits he bought. So, first what we will do? First, we will find out the sum and the sum will be rounded off. Clear? Okay. Let's do it. So, uh, number of bananas bought? 2,80,514. Okay. Number of oranges bought? 3,1718 Number of apples bought 4,53,892 Now what to do? Total fruits bought We will find out the total fruits bought For this we will add We will add it together So 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 4 is 14, 1 carried over, 9 plus 1, 10, plus 1, 11, plus 1, 12, 1 carried over, 16 plus 5, 
So here we are getting the total fruits, the fruit seller bought is 10,36,124. Now, what to do? We will estimate this sum. Now, therefore, estimated fruits bought. See, the question is asking you to estimate this to the nearest lakh. So, let's move to lakh. 1 stands 100, 1000, 1000, lakh. What is there at lakh's place? 0. What is there at lakh's place? 0. So, before 0, what comes? 3. 3 is less than 5. 3 is less than 5. So, all will become 0 and nothing will be added here. So, the answer must be 10 lakh fruits. Okay. Okay, so like this, you have to do this question. Clear? Now see here, see here, question number 6, 8 and 9, we will be discussing in the online class tomorrow. Okay, so what to do? I am doing question number 7 here. An exporter has an order to supply 3,80,519 shirts. Okay, this is the order. He has 2,13,456 shirts in stock. How many more shirts has he to arrange? Estimate by rounding off to the nearest lakh. Keep in mind, rounding off to the nearest lakh. Okay, see here, I have already written that statement. Number of shirts in order. So, order is of 3,80,000. 519 shirts. Okay. 3,80,519 shirts. Uh, he has already in stock is 2,13,456. Okay. Now, more shirts required. To find more shirts required, what to do? We will find the difference. We will find the difference. Okay. So, let us find the difference here. Subtract it. 9 minus 6 is 3. 1 minus 5 is not possible. So, 11 minus 5 is 6. 4 minus 4 is 0. 10 minus 3 is 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. And 3 minus 2 is 1. So, more shirt required is 1,67,063. Okay. Therefore, estimated estimated shirts equals to 1,67,063 must be rounded to the nearest lag. The question is asking you to round off this to the nearest lag. So, 1 stands 100, 1000 comes on lag. At lag's place, we have 1 and before that, what do we have? 6. Okay. So, 6 is more than 5. So, 1 will be added here. So, 1 plus 1, 2. And all will become 0. So, how many estimated shirts required is? 2 lakh. How much? 2 lakh. So, 2 lakh shirt is required in estimation. Or we can say that there is 2 lakh estimated shirts required. So, today we are doing up to question number 7. And rest of all question, like three questions are left, we will be discussing this in the next online class. That is tomorrow. Okay. Thank you.